So this free game sucks. No, literally, that's the point. I need to suck up all these little dust particles. And once I suck up enough of these bad boys, I can buy my upgrades, like making more or increasing their size. It's a bit unethical that my business is cleaning up messes, so I buy stuff that makes more messes, but whatever I need to do to bring home the big bucks. And how fast can I go? Oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> speed racer with the cleaning up these dang dust bunnies. Come here, friend. Drift time, yes! <laughs> I have too much fun with stuff like this. So I've got 20 dust. I can buy this lump spawning upgrade, which gives a 5 percentage chance for that big old lump to spawn in. Come here, buddy. I want to suck you up. Come on. Yes. Oh, that was like five levels of dust. Oh, there's some weirdo here who will buy a dust for $1. That's a pretty good exchange rate, actually. Let's get 10. Oh, more dust clumps. Oh, I can buy a vacuum that sucks better. Uh, it... The vacuum does its job better. I'm uh, talking about all this stuff sucks. And oh, look at the suck power on this baby. This is pulling them in from 100 yards downrange. This is sweet. And it looks like I'm only ever allowed a thousand dust particles on the map at one time. However, unless I'm just not at my computer because of some weird assassination attempt, I'll be sucking up at least 400 every three seconds. Oh, and now I've got an AVA, huh? aka the Autonomous Vacuum Assistant. Or if you don't worry about copyright, it's a Roomba. Look at him go. The little buddies are sucking everything in. Good job. Uh, my Roomba friend, together we conquer the world. And now I can sell common dust for more money, which is kind of what I need to upgrade my Roomba friend. Upgrade his nozzle a little bit, upgrade how fast he drives, and his suction force. You got a little buddy. Together we can rule the world, friend. Can I suck him up? Come here, get back here. All right, just buy one of every upgrade until I end up broke. He's like, what is this? Hello, chest. What can I do with this little guy? Open them up. It was just 24 bucks in there. Sweet. Hooray for lazy upgrading. I can also get some vacuum tokens from stuff, which I guess I can use for like perma upgrades. Increase the amount of money I get from selling stuff. Sounds like the way to go. And now I've almost saved up a hundred dust that I can buy dirt, which gives me even more upgrades. It also sells for twice as much. Being filthy has never felt so good. Bought some more upgrades, which make it where just a bunch of dust spawns in at one time. And I've developed a new tactic called the spinning suck. <laughs> just spin around the floor like a little ballerina and suck up everything in. <laughs> Now I've almost saved up enough dirt to do something downright disgusting. Uh, second automatic suction bot. Now I can just be peak lazy all I want and these guys get to do all the work for me. And now if I buy elixir of growth, it pretty much makes it that every time dust particles spawn in, I just get a dust clump, which comes in extremely handy when you're trying to sell a hundred of these things for cash. Cause now I can buy the turbo suck and this thing is Oh, this is pulling them in. What do I got like a mini black hole attached to the underside of this? Go, my ultimate move. This combined with my all new turbo suck <laughs> practically made my money back already. Oh, cool. I got another chest, which gave me 67 bucks. And so I'll put it to good use by increasing the size of my Avas. Wow, those things are quite large now. And along with increasing their size, I'm gonna increase their numbers. Hello, my third automatic Roomba machine. And then level up their motor and nozzle so they just work a little better. I think the only reasonable thing to do now is spend 30 gold coins on chess, which time-lapsed me 25 minutes into the future and gave me $130. And so what I wanna do now is sell my dust for some cold hard cash. Head over to my Ava menu so I can have them pick up their object compartment. I think that'll let them suck up dust clumps now. Let's see, will he? Oh yeah, they absorb them. And I've saved up enough dirt to buy my fourth automatic Roomba unit. So now I've got a nice little marching army force of automatic suckers whose speed I will upgrade three times and increase their nozzle size along with their motor again. Now I let these guys run and just suck up everything for me. I'm gonna go to my local coffee shop. See you in a few. Two hours later. So my automatic workforce has been working hard and I'm about to throw all that hard work into the trash. Take all my stuff. Oh, gravity well. This is a necessary purchase for a whole bunch of goodies. So now I can buy, well, a new location like my neighbor's house, which is a much larger floor, it seems. Also, 100% more dust, 100% more dirt. Tell you what, 200% more dust. One Roomba, come on back, buddy. It just dawned on me that 
that I can pay to get a whole bunch of stuff. The game is free, but my accountant just doesn't get enough work, so I gotta make her life a living hell. They give me a 300% dust multiplier, and then there's a gutter on the outside of my screen, so if dust flies off, I just automatically get it over there. <laughs> And now with a thousand coins, I can get like persistent vacuums, extra manager, increase the amount of particles I get when I vacuum by a hundred percent, and crank up my prestige token multipliers. And now what happens if I just use one of these 30 minute teleports? Oh, a decent amount of items. That's enough for me to get another Roomba and two more. All four are back. Hello, my loves. I can also pick up 17 grand thanks to selling my dust, letting me buy my turn turbo stick and upgrade my Roombas. Everyone gets at least five levels and everything. And then increase the nozzle and the motors and then crank that speed up too. These guys are like mega suck units now. Thanks to my insane dust production too. Every 50 little particles I get with dust counts as a plus one for me now. And so if I just buy this carpet upgrade, it spawns a hundred dust particles every time. Look at how much money I'm getting. Dump into spawn rate for these guys too. More lumps spawning. All right, 30 minute time travel. Look at how much dust is just gathered everywhere. And now I can unlock sand dust along with upgrading my dirt spawn rates and some lump spawn rates tab over to my regular dust shop and i can buy the third and final ava for here and now if i sell all my dust i can buy the dust assassin vacuum which this is yeah that <laughs> fitting to the name activate ballerina mode all right over to my neighbor's house where i can get sand dust particles which i get a lot of these tell you what gravity well take me 1500 prestige tokens. I can buy managers for my places. Get this dust duplicator, dirt duplicator, sand dust duplicator, all 600%. <laughs> 100% more prestige tokens and a lot more dust buildup. And then just whatever else I can. At my house, I guess I can just hire some people to give me, oh, a money multiplier. Thanks, Ryan. And now to just absorb basic tiny dust and get rich really, really fast. I'm already sitting at 4,000 dust, which lets me just crank up the spawn rates. Getting 4,000 dust again, about to be extremely easy. And look at all of these other vacuums I can get too. Oh my gosh. All right, we'll buy two more AVAs and then just start spawning a bunch of dirt in too. Not gonna stay here for long though. I need to go to my neighbor's house because I can start getting sand dust for real this time, which is handy because it means I can buy more AVAs. Look at all these little Roomba guys I got going around. Oh yeah, and then just make a quick $57,000. Object compartment, everything up to five, and then get the speed motor and nozzle up to 10. Their size could go up to level seven. And now I've got some big old Ava monstrosities. I think what I'll do after claiming some free vacuum tokens is hire the rest of these free guys that I can get. Look at how many managers I have now. Increase everything here for sand dust and my nice little normal dust and 30 minute time warp simply cause I'd need the gravity well to be the ultimate sucker again. Look at all those tokens sweet for my upgrades. Shopbots will buy my upgrades for me and I can buy my lawn. Ooh, and a road for the future. Now the duplicators are still like insanely cheap in comparison. So I'm also gonna upgrade the amount of prestige tokens I can get and then just more dust particle buildup. All right, let the fun begin again. I made it so 14,000 dust particles could spawn on the screen at once and man, is it delivering. And now I've got my Avas to be as large as they can be. Eventually these things are just gonna turn into a bunch of Evas instead. Oh, hey, I can make my auto shop bots start auto buying stuff. Better motor, better nozzle. These guys are going crazy now. I still need more to my neighbor's house for sand. Get my manager there and have another money multiplier. The numbers should be adding up more sand per spawn in. Get a faster spawn rate, get some lumpies, and make the sand particles huge. Yeah, I'm gathering these at such a crazy stupid fast rate now. <laughs> 
Now I can unlock grass pollen and two more vacuum units. All right, to the lawn. I still casually gather the other resources even though I'm not in those areas. Is that thanks to the effect of my managers? Not too sure. Guess it doesn't matter. Got my grass particles. Everything's going great. And it's actually pretty difficult to get pollen for some reason. I mean, just vacuum the grass that I'm standing on game. What? Why is that an issue? There's only one thing to do. Big suck for a bunch of coins. Even more upgrades. Can probably get all of these guys to be a thousand bonus. And so I'll see you in like 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. After a large amount of waiting patiently, I'm on the road for some reason. Oh. Because of course the road has road dust. Which this just lets me have a bunch of tiny little vacuum men. Also now I can buy the dust eliminator for a million? I don't even have to get close. This thing just absorbs stuff from like half a screen away if I can even get to it. Because my robots are kind of going crazy right now. And so I think you know what time it is now. Spend 10,000 prestige tokens to get my sawmill. Made it all the way to my logging world world where I can buy the eradicator. This thing is just stupid. I guess it's like Mario star power slide across my screen and suck up anything that these random robots miss. And I'm going to do the normal human being thing where I time travel four hours into the future and sell all my road dust and then immediately buy the gravity backpack. Now this thing is stupid. I want to prestige real quick. Might as well buy a few of these upgrades here and then just go down the list buying more 100% multipliers. And now I've got 21,000 clumps on my screen. Just look at how fast this gravity backpack sucks literally everything up. Go! Ultimate ballerina move one more time. Oh, that's nice. Well, time to turn my auto buy bot on, and I'll come back to this in like a week. It'll be fun. 